this night when I were asleep, um, All Things D had an interview with Tim Cook, Apple's Tim Cook, and uh, he said uh, a lot of interesting things in that interview. For example, that uh, Apple and Facebook still are friends. I didn't know that. I thought they were not so good friends anymore. Uh, but Tim Cook said that they were friends and uh, that we will see deeper integration with Facebook, that something are coming with Facebook and that uh, he wants us to have the best uh, Facebook experience on uh, Apple products and that uh, sounds nice at least for those uh, that like Facebook and use Facebook. He also said that Facebook is the only social network there is. There isn't anything else than Facebook. And uh, I don't agree with that. And you know, I don't agree with that because I use Google Plus and I use Twitter and I use many other social network. And uh, you are probably doing the same. So I don't agree with that, but uh, Tim Cook probably meant that uh, Facebook are so dominant because they have so large user base. But uh, this could also mean that I was wrong with that I think Apple will release us their own social network called me.com uh, by making a social network of Vimeo, Flickr and maybe Twitter. Join all together and sync it with iCloud. That was my idea. I talked about in a video. This probably means that I was wrong if that's the case. We will see. Other things he talked about that was interesting uh, was that Siri will be a lot better now. They will uh, make some really cool things with Siri and uh, Siri will be a lot better. But uh, personally I think uh, I've, they need to make Siri have international support before making it better. I am really disappointed at Apple because they have still not released international support for Siri. For example, Swedish, my language, uh, no Scandinavian language. It doesn't have any Scandinavian language support. Uh, a lot of other languages is not supported. So uh, I, I still think that I was... Um, that Apple cheating on me when I bought the iPhone 4S because I thought Siri would be the way for me to interact with the phone and uh, I can't do that without uh, Swedish support because I can't even uh, ask for restaurants or uh, the nearest way to come to a place or, or something because that's not supported in the Swedish iOS. Siri don't understand Swedish and we can't use a maps features. It doesn't work in Swedish iOS. I'm really disappointed at, at Apple about that. But in this interview, um, Tim Cook said that Siri will be better. And uh, I hope he also means that we will have international support because soon it has gone a complete year and I can still not use Siri. I bought my iPhone 4S only for Siri, nothing else. I had a perfectly fine iPhone 4, a great phone. And uh, I bought it, the iPhone 4S only for Siri. So I still hope for uh, Swedish language support. We will see. He also mentioned uh, some stuff about uh, Apple television and so on but I didn't I don't think he 
revealed any secrets about uh, coming Apple television either. He said that, um, exactly as Steve Jobs had said, that uh, if, um, if someone should uh, make television better, they need to think in completely other ways. And uh, I don't think he revealed any secrets about that. So still we don't know if Apple will release uh, Apple television or not. Another thing I, I think was a bit strange that he said was that uh, Apple has one phone, one size and one resolution. He said that and I think that's a bit strange because uh, then we will not see a bigger iPhone with another resolution and I think uh, I think they have to do that this time. They can't release a new iPhone that has the same size and same resolution still. I don't think they can because then they will lose a lot of users. They can't. So that was a bit strange that he said that, I think. Very strange. Hopefully, he means something else with that.